This is Ben from Harrison Consoles, and I'm going to demonstrate a new feature that we added in Mixbus version 3.3. This feature is called Pin Management, and Pin Management is a mechanism to adjust the connections between plugins in your signal flow. So this is a mono channel strip, and you can see there's a single green pip in between each of the plugins. And I can add a plugin by double clicking and choosing the Harrison XT EQ equalizer. And I can drop that anywhere I'd like in the signal flow. Mixbus is also smart enough to take a mono plugin, and if you drag it into a stereo channel, it will create two mono equalizers and put one on each side and send them the same control information. But let's look at the case where you add a stereo equalizer to a mono channel. Starting with Mixbus version 3.3, Mixbus will only use the left side of a stereo plugin if it's in a mono channel strip. In the past, we used both left and right sides of the plugin, and that created a stereo channel strip, but that wasn't what all of our users expected, so we've changed the default behavior. However, I can change the default behavior by right clicking on the plugin and choosing Pin Connections. This opens a dialog that allows me to look at a representation of the plugin and a representation of the pins that appear in the channel strip. Because this is a mono channel strip, we have one input and one output for this plugin. Let's consider a plugin that we might like to change our channel strip from mono into stereo. I'm going to add the AU matrix reverb. The AU matrix reverb has a single mono input, but it has a stereo output, left and right. By default, we only see the left output used. In the pin configuration dialog, we can change connections by clicking and dragging the connections between the channel strip and the plugin itself. We can also add and remove connections. If I enable the manual config button, I can click to add an audio output. And when I do that, you see that the channel suddenly becomes stereo, and the meters at the bottom of the channel strip split to become two separate left and right meters. So I'll connect the right output into the right channel of my channel strip. And you'll notice that I can still drag the order of this plugin. If I drag it before the compressor, then the compressor and all the succeeding plugins become stereo. Now let's investigate a stereo channel. In this case, I've added a mono equalizer plugin to my channel, but it's a stereo channel. So Mixbus has created two instances of the equalizer and applied one to the left channel and one to the right. But we might choose to change our pin connections. I'm going to click on each of the input and output connections to remove those connections and I'm going to bypass the right side by dragging directly from the right side input down to the output. And you see the dotted line. This indicates that we've bypassed the instance of the plugin. And so that I'm not wasting the DSP, I can go to Manual Config and remove an instance of the plugin. So now we have a signal path that processes through the EQ the left side, but bypasses on the right. And there's a delay compensation circuit that makes sure the delay is con the, the signal path is compensated for the dry path. So that's one of the cool features we can do. Now let's investigate some of the features that become available now that we have pin management. I'm going to add a compressor that has a side chain input. And I'll right click on it to show my pin connections. This is an LV2 plugin, and LV2 can provide metadata to Mixbus that tells it that the third input is a side chain input. And so our pin configuration dialog automatically adds a side chain input that feeds into the plugin and we can choose the source of our side chain using this pull down menu. I'm going to use the track that's labeled kick. You can see the kick track here. And you'll notice when I created the send, it created a side chain send plugin in my source track, in the kick track. 
And the side chain send has a send level, which adjusts how loud the level is sent to the side chain of the other plugin. And I can also move this in my signal flow. So if I would like the side chain send to occur before the EQ and reverb and compressor, I drag it to the top of my channel strip. Pin management also provides new features when it comes to virtual instruments. In this case, I'm using the Contact 5 instrument, and by default, it's created stereo outputs. But if I want to use contact as a sound source to feed multiple channels that are then mixed separately, I can right click on it and choose pin configurations. Mixbus recognizes that contact is a virtual instrument and it gives me a new pull down menu that provides all of the output configurations this plugin is capable of. So I'm going to choose eight channels. Contact now shows eight outputs and those eight outputs appear at the channel direct outputs and I can route those into individual buses where they can be equalized, compressed, and mixed through the mix buses. Those are the new pin management features that we've added to Mixbus version 3.3. You can find more details in our manual. Thanks for watching.